Welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Palette GTX 580 3GB GDDR5 video card. Okay, let me first unbox this product. And as you can see, it is a very nice looking box with lots of features and specifications about the product. This is important if you are picking it up in store. It even has a picture of the product on the box. Again, this is the GTX 580 video card. This one is special because it comes with three gigabytes of GDDR5 memory, tons of features. This thing is just jam packed full of technologies like, for example, DirectX 11, 3D Vision support, PhysX, CUDA, SLI, and I'll have a lot more information on these technologies in the video review, plus a closer look at the video card. Now there's one security seal here, and let's cut that and take a peek inside. A piece of foam here at the top, a power cable, a DVI to VGA adapter, and ooh, the video card. Let's see what else is in here. A quick installation guide and the installation disc. Now let me remove the video card from the antique static bag. You should really make sure that you have yourself grounded when you're doing this or just be careful not to touch any sensitive parts on the video card. And it looks like the cooler has this protective plastic on it. Now let's have a closer look at this video card. This video card has a PCI Express interface of two and it's based on the GF110 chip which is built on the 40 nanometer manufacturing process and has 3 billion transistors. This is one massive cooler. It's comprised of a plastic top, two fans and an enormous heatsink which consists of lots of aluminum fins, heat pipes and the base plate comes in direct contact with the GPU and memory so this cooler will have no problem keeping the video card cool in almost any environment. Now if you're looking at this video card thinking boy that looks big well you're right it is big it's just over ten and a half inches or 27 centimeters in length but it should fit in most new mid and certainly full tower cases. There are four video connections, two DVI, one display port, and an HDMI with 1.4A output support. Now this video card requires two power cable connections, one 8-pin and one 6-pin. And the maximum power consumption is 244 watts and 37 watts at idle. So a brand name power supply that can handle the load is very crucial, especially in a multiple video card configuration. Note that this video card has new hardware monitoring, which manages power when under load. So real-time monitoring of current and voltage on each 12 volt rail, 8 pin, 6 pin, and PCI Express also dynamically adjusts performance in certain stress applications, like for example, Furmark or OCCT or other benchmarking programs that really put the video card under a lot of stress and this is to keep power within specs. Now total hardcore gamers will appreciate that this video card has two SLI bridge connections so you can have a maximum of three video cards in SLI provided of course you have a power supply that can handle this enormous load. The core speed on this product is 783 megahertz, the shader clock is 1566 megahertz, and the 3072 megabytes of GDDR5 384 bit memory is 4 gigahertz DDR. It comes with 512 CUDA cores, 64 texture units, and 48 raster operations. The texture fill rate is 50.1 gigatexels per second. The pixel fill rate is 37.6 gigapixels per second. And the memory bandwidth is 193 gigabytes per second. A trial version of Bada Boom software can be downloaded. This software is a fast media converter that formats video files for a variety of devices by using the graphics processing unit. 
Since this software uses CUDA, which is NVIDIA's parallel computing architecture technology, it dramatically reduces conversion times, especially on large files. Now let me highlight some of the key technologies. This video card has complete DirectX 11 support, and one of its key features is tessellation. Hardware tessellation delivers a huge increase in gaming realism and visual fidelity. In this water demo, we show hardware tessellation delivering incredibly realistic, high fidelity water and terrain out of minimal input geometry. We begin with no tessellation, just the baseline mesh. As we increase the level of tessellation, you see the terrain and water surface fill in with increasingly realistic looking texture and volume. Physics technology enables a totally new class of physical gaming interaction for a more dramatic and realistic experience. Pure Video HD technology is a combination of high definition video decode acceleration and post processing that delivers unprecedented picture clarity, smooth video, accurate color, and precise image scaling for movies and video. 3D Vision support brings a fully immersive stereoscopic 3D experience to the PC. A combination of high-tech wireless glasses and advanced software, 3D Vision transforms hundreds of PC games into full stereoscopic 3D. In addition, you can watch 3D movies and 3D digital photographs in eye-popping crystal clear quality. It also has unified architecture, which allows processing power to geometry, vertex, physics, or pixel shading operations, and supports Windows 7. Now have a listen as I increase the speed of the fans. If you're in the market for the fastest single GPU video card, well, this is it. And also, it's jam-packed full of fantastic features. Now, the card is a little bit on the expensive side, but that is to be expected from a high-end video card. Overall, this is a 100% kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.